Nichols. Well, joining us now is one of those House members who also went maskless, Republican Texas Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne. Congresswoman, thanks so much for being with us tonight. I have to ask you, what was the reaction like on the House floor when you all went down there, took your masks off, and finally I had some level of normalcy once again? Well, I mean, for those of us who did it, we knew that we were taking, you know, a, a risk, obviously, because you're, you're facing a $500 fine for the first offense and $2,500 fine thereafter. And I think, you know, what you're seeing is this was never about the science. We did this after the CDC guidelines came out saying that if you've been vaccinated, there's no need to wear a mask outside or inside. So that was when we did it. But this was never about the science. This was always about exerting power fear and control over us. And this is just an example. The mask is just an example of what happens under democratic tyranny when they have power. They'll either force Americans to obey or to be punished. Congresswoman, uh, Anthony Fauci effectively admitted this week that it was just theater, uh, that he was wearing his mask without, as you said, scientific justification. Uh, given that admission, is it time to push Fauci off of the public, uh, the public sphere? You know, I, this, this man obviously just continues to want to have influence. And I think once the fear of this pandemic is over, he, he fears that he's not going to have that influence anymore. He's not going to have that power. He's not going to have that control. We need to follow the science. We need to get our kids back in school. We need to get our businesses back open. We need to make sure that we feel normal again. And yes, we are following the science. It is very frustrating when you see people continuing to try to scare people. Um, and you see, you see the devastation that's caused. You see what's happened to our kids who aren't in school. You see what's happened to businesses that have been refused to be uh, to have people um, come in because of the fear. The science is there. It is time to open America back up. Congresswoman, I think it was Representative Raskin who said that 100% of the Democrats in the House, they've received the vaccine. So it's pretty confusing why they're so concerned about anybody not wearing a mask if they're now protected. What is the reasoning for Speaker Pelosi saying, hey, you got to wear a mask uh, if you're on the House floor? Uh, it's all about control. It's all about power. I mean, everybody who has wanted to get a vaccine um, on that House floor has an opportunity to do that. I don't believe that people should be mandated to get the vaccine. If you want to get it, get it. And if you don't want to get it, that is your choice, and that's a risk that you are willing to take. But your freedom stop at the end of my nose. And, you know, this is no longer about safety. This is no longer about people keeping people healthy. This is absolutely about control. This is absolutely about power, and it's about to stop. You know, I hope Nancy Pelosi enjoys what she's got right now, because come 2022, the American people are waking up to what's happening. I mean, look at what's happening in South Lake, Texas. South Lake, Texas is in District 24. I am proud to represent it. And you've got families, you've got parents who are woke up to what's happening in their school district, and they're furious. And they got up and they, they, they came out in mass numbers at our school board elections recently, and they're taking back control of their children's lives and their children's education. I mean, you saw 70% of, uh, of the vote went to those, those um, uh, candidates who are speaking sense and who are taking kids directly into account and, and not teacher unions and other things like that. Congresswoman, you know, I'm curious, let, let's talk about the origin of all of this, which of course is the virus that came out of China and potentially evidence seems to be growing, at least circumstantial and perhaps more than circumstantial evidence, that it came out of the, wa the lab in Wuhan. Uh, what is your view of how the United States is going to get to the bottom of the origin story regarding the virus? I, I think they need to be honest. I and mean, I think that, you know, the, the folks that right now are in the Biden administration need to recognize that that they need to stand up to foreign countries that would do us harms, countries like China. Biden needs to grow a backbone and be willing to actually confront them, find out what happened, hold those people accountable. And here's the kicker, make sure that it never happens again. If we're in denial, if, we're, if we are completely ignoring the, how the, then we are offering, we are asking for it to happen all over again. We need to get down to the bottom of it. Not only the United States, you know, the Americans are concerned, but this affected the entire world. Well, Congresswoman, um, 
We, we appreciate you. We appreciate the message that you sent to Speaker Pelosi as well as the example you set for the American people. And I understand. I'm glad that was the best $500 you spent. Congress, Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne, thank you for being with us tonight.